Amy with the Hag Reads, and I am here today with day four of Spooktober. Um, let's see. I probably should have opened this before I... There's a lot going on on my desk right now. I'm sorry. Okay, so for day four, um, I did watch, uh, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and of course I loved it. <laughs> And then after it was a little short movie, um, it's it's magic, Charlie Brown, or something to that effect, which is a little Snoopy short. Um, I always enjoy it. It's part of every Halloween for me, so that was awesome. And then too much stuff going on. I, um, the Goosebumps book I chose was Say Cheese and Die Again, which is, uh, the sequel to Say Cheese and Die <laughs> by R.L. Stein. So that's the one I read last night. Um, I like the original better. I don't, this is kind of like, uh, the mask one. Um, they did the, f the first one, which was pretty creepy, and then they did a second one, and I didn't enjoy it. This was okay, um, but I didn't like it as much as I enjoyed the first one. Um, I think R.L. Stein probably shouldn't make sequels to most of the... Uh, you know, just because one book is popular doesn't mean a second book is going to... Based on the same premise. Um, the premise is that there's a camera and you take a picture of somebody and it shows something awful happening to them, and then it happens. And so... The kid who did it the first time went back and did it again. Uh, and it didn't work out so well. Cliffhanger ending. Um, so that was fun. I had a, you know, it was a light night for me. Um, which I enjoyed because <laughs> I had to, I wanted to do some more on my knitting. And I had a couple of other things that I'm working on. Um, the book that I'm going to read for tomorrow... I'm still working on Ghost Road Blues, um, and it's probably actually going to take two more days. I've still got quite a ways to go on it, um, because I'm doing so many other things. Um, so I'm still working on Ghost Road Blues by Jonathan Mayberry. I am going to pick up and try and finish by tomorrow um, the digital book, uh, First Contact by Cat Green, and it's part of, it's book one of the Haunts for Sale series which is more haunted house stuff because my son really likes this stuff um it's a real estate agent who i think specializes in selling haunted properties uh it just sounds interesting and my son liked it so i'm gonna give that a shot and it's not very long and then um the movie that i picked i better pause this because i didn't write down a little synopsis so I'll, let me get um, on Netflix and get a little synopsis. So the movie is actually called A Dark Song. Grieving the death of her son, a woman hires an occult expert to lead her through a, psych a psychologically grueling ritual to contact the child's spirit. Um, and then uh, the little tiny description says it. An agonizing dark magic rite stretches oh, on for weeks, taking its toll on both participants, even before it starts working. Um, it is a... I don't like this new thing Netflix is doing, where they tell you the percentage of a match and you can only give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. For movies, I actually do like the star rating. Because I was really able to use that to my benefit in picking movies that I would enjoy. This says it's an 85% match based on what I've thumbs up and thumbs down before. Um, but it sounds interesting and we'll see how it goes. At the very least I can get some knitting out of it. Uh, it is... Let's see if it's a 1 hour and 39 minutes. So that's a pretty good chunk of knitting for me. So, uh, again, my book for today is First Contact by Cat Green, and my movie is A Dark Song. 
uh, which is available on Netflix, and um, it was released in 2016, so it's fairly new. Um, that is it for today. I will be back tomorrow with another Spooktober video. I am just having so much fun with this, um, and I am having fun sharing it, even if nobody else cares at all. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, if you watched all the way through, thank you so much. Happy whatever time of day it is for you. Bye!